Hi, students. Hi, students. I'd like to give you a little um, update on how to navigate this class a little bit, especially if you're wondering about how to get to My Math Lab, which is what we are using for our exams, our quizzes, and our homework for every section of the textbook. So where you'll want to navigate is the Start Here, or you can go to Modules and go to Unit 1. I'm going to click on Start Here, and then it will take you directly to Unit 1. Just a really quick note, you can see there's some extra credit opportunities for you, and I hope you'll take a look at these, including attending one of my online orientation sessions next week, Wednesday or Thursday. Here are the dates. Uh, you can't, I mean, you could attend both, but you can only get a maximum of 20 points extra credit for that orientation. I'll also be posting the recording from each of these orientations to the announcements after the orientation is completed. So that way, if you do miss it, you can still review the recording. Um, also, if I have it set up that if you cannot attend an orientation, that your schedule just doesn't work for you, what the two dates that I have and the times, you can visit me next week during my office hours. I'll have office hours Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday during these dates and times. And come and see me in my office, which is CI309. Chat for a few minutes about the class. I'll ask you a few questions, really low key. And I would give you the extra credit for that as well. So let's go back to Module Unit 1. Our, our class is divided into seven module units. The first two are open right now, Unit 1 and Unit 2. So you should, need, you should go through each of these items, click on them, and then I'll go through to the introduction just to show you. You can see, if you click here, that for each of these module units, I've created a checklist. You can print this, download it, print it, then actually with a pen, check off every item to make sure you don't miss anything. I found that students really like this. It keeps them organized. And in this fast summer six week class, I would recommend as much organization as possible. To get to the next um, item in the unit one, you would click on next. There's a few other things, watching a few videos. Uh, things I'm in an or idea is to get you oriented, to get you ready to take this class. So I've clicked back into the modules because I wanted to highlight that when you get to item 13, the chapter one PowerPoint, this is where you get to Pearson, which is my math lab. You'll need to register. So first of all, before you do that, accept the boilerplate here. And then it will ask you if you have an account or if you need to create a new one. I'm actually going to wipe this out and I'm going to create a new one because some of you may have to, you may not have an account, you may not have used my math lab, my stat lab, or even some other lab because they have chemistry and business, they have all kinds of products. But I'm going to create a new one. The email address I'm going to use is a different one. Unfortunately, I can't use my Citrus email because I'm an instructor. I'd actually recommend that you don't use your Citrus email, that you use your personal email here. The reason why is it gives me another way of reaching you. If I need to contact you, I, have, I know your Citrus email, but I also know this one which would be your personal one. I'm going to use my Gmail account right here. Oops, let's get rid of that. There we go. Put in a password and repeat it. Put in my first name, my last name, and the security question I want to answer. Let's see. Um, I was born in Los Angeles, in East LA, specifically in Boyle Heights. I lived there until I was two. <laughs> I'm going to accept the license agreement, and you can click this last checkbox or not about learning new offers. I'm going to create create this account. 
I'll save this because this is my computer. I'd recommend if you're working on a, a computer that is not yours, that that would probably not be a good idea to save the credentials. So you have three options for this class. You can get an access code if you purchase the textbook from the bookstore. It's around $160. It comes with a paper textbook as well as an access code for my math lab. And when you click on access code, it's going to take you to this where you'll just type in your access, your, your letters that are on this paper, cardboard paper. You open it up and the letters are there. I'm going to cancel out of this. If you want to buy my math lab with a credit card, you would also get an ebook. And for some students, that works really well. It's $104.99. No matter what you can do right now, you will have the option right here to get temporary access without payment for 14 days. So you get a free two-week trial, basically. And that's a really good idea to do that because then you don't have to make a decision right now. You can wait on buying something. So I'm going to click on that for now. And yes, I want temporary access. Let's give it a minute. And it shouldn't take too long. There we go. And what I'm going to do is click back. I'm going to go to my modules. I'm registered now. I'm going to go to Chapter 1 PowerPoint. And now because I'm registered, it's going to take me to the assignments. So there's the Chapter 1 PowerPoint. Let me go back to the modules. You'll have PowerPoints to review. You'll have reading, which is an ebook. You'll have videos to watch. And you'll also have homework assignments. Here's the first one for section 1.1. And you can see it consists of a number of questions. I'm just going to click on question two to show you what it looks like. Everything for my math lab is done from within Canvas. You do not use my math lab standalone. Some of you may be used to that, doing that because you've done that in different classes. I have to caution you don't do that because this is the only way that your work that you're going to complete will get placed into the Canvas gradebook, which is where I keep your grades. Let me know if you have any questions. Please feel free to contact me through Remind through Canvas message, which is the inbox right here, or through email to vdominguez at citruscollege.edu. Bye.